I never thought I'd see a resonance cascade. Anyway, hey guys, it's uh, Rooster here once again. As you can see, we have a little bit of a time lapse here in front of us, and I've been debating how long I want to make it. Right now, it's about oh, just over five minutes, and uh, it was could have been 10, 20, 30 minutes, but I'm, you know, I guess it depends on the content. You know, if it would make sense to have a time lapse that long, but in, in the end, I just want to have a little commentary over this. But as you can see, I'm working on the uh, latest system that I built for a uh, rather high-profile client of mine. He wanted two GTX 980 classifieds. And some of you are gonna be like, what the fuck, man, I don't know why'd you do that, but... I went ahead and just built into his already existing system uh, that, you know, I just dropped those cards right in along with a new case, which is the Fractal Define R4, I believe. You know, second to latest, you know, Define, ser um, De Define model from uh, Fractal Design. And uh, yeah, just to go over the scope, the scope, the specs, of his system, he's still running an Ivy Bridge, I believe he had a 3770K on an MSI GD65 gaming motherboard. And he originally had a GTX Titan, which you just saw me take out of there. And uh, he was only running on eight gigs of crucial low, prof low profile memory. So those, are, those got changed out for about 32 gigs of Patriot, running at 1600, I believe, or 1866. And then as, as of course, as I said, I dropped in the uh, two 980 classifieds. Um, I did run into a slight problem with the uh, motherboard PCIe slot spacing. Mouthful there, my god. Uh, but uh, I thought I figured it out. I was like, okay, no, I... I, I looking at the website, looking at the... Because uh, I didn't have the motherboard directly in front of me. But looking at MSI's website and that particular model motherboard, I was like, okay, it looks like, you know, dual slot cards. I'm just going to have... I'm going to be right there for the proper spacing for one of these really fancy smancy looking... EVGA SLI bridges, you know, one that lights up and looks nice. But no, you'll see once we get to the cards that I actually, the spacing was slightly off, so I had to use a stupid, boring, flexible SLI bridge that I had laying around. Either way, he didn't really care. I mean, I mean, it's got a window, so I want it to look really good. But uh, as far as the justify justification for these parts i mean all he's doing is gaming he's not really doing any content creation so for me i could have told him hey let's jump on the 5960x bruh we could have done that we very well could have done it. he's got the money but uh in the end he just wanted it done you know up and running and he's got one of the lg 34 um 95 you know 21 by 9 screen so that's a whole lot of pixel a lot a whole lot of screen real estate so these 980s certainly help. They're only four gigabytes each. I wish they had got a little higher on that, but uh, no big deal. Man, looking at myself in all these angles, I have to lose weight. <laughs> for those of you that know me for the beer reviews, I uh, those are on hiatus. Uh, even well before New Year's, so it's not quite a New Year's resolution. I went ahead and cut out, you know, drinking for now. I uh, uh, we'll see. Beer is not going away, but it's just on a break. It's just on a break right now. And uh, maybe I'll get to those videos, you know, in the near future. And right now I'm just doing some cable management. The Define R4 is a very nice case. I mean, I would have loved to get an R5 and review that. Maybe you should all, uh, <coughs> all spam Fractal Josh on Twitter. Tell him to send Rooster a uh, R5 case. And I'll build in it. But uh, building in the R5 was very straightforward. Lots of space. Cable man management was a breeze, and as you can see, I went ahead and I used a Cooler Master V1000. Wanted to make sure my client had extra power laying around, and uh, yeah, that's not overkill at all. I mean, those 980 classifieds use a bit of juice. They have uh, two 8 pins each, so yeah. And they were getting kind of toasty in there, so I, as you can see, if, if you can tell, I didn't really ask. See, that's where I had the issue with the SLI bridge. <laughs> I gave it a thumbs down. Oh, God. Yeah, I was pissed. I was very pissed. We had to return that. That was like 30, 40 bucks for that bridge alone. But anyway, he, uh, going back to this, it was just a breeze to build in. And I should have added more fans. I, I eventually want to go back and grab his computer. Just really, I don't have to grab it. Just go by his place and install some more fans because the case is great for airflow, but it's also got all the noise dampening, which at the same time, if you don't have proper airflow, but you you leave all the sound dampening in the module vent sound dampening in you're gonna have it's gonna hold in a lot more heat so i do want to add some more fans to the top because overall the case runs fine 
Oh, and in case you guys thought the 3770K is overclocked, I think 4.2 using OC Genie. I didn't even really go in there. I just pushed the button and it did its own thing. And it's, I think, like high 60s, you know, in the Celsius during Prime 95 or Ada 64. So it's doing pretty good. Even with that Cooler Master 212 Evo cooler. So I'm pretty much finishing up here. And then I do kind of a... My, my fault was that I didn't do any glamour shots. I forgot I had to deliver it the same night. So there it is, it's working, and any second now, I think it's just going to be a black screen. <laughs> because I'm out of footage. Maybe this could have been longer, but as far as what I've been up to lately, guys, this is it. Hopefully you enjoyed it. It's been pretty fast. Maybe I could have slowed it down a little bit more. I don't know. Maybe. So yeah, see, now you're probably going to get a black screen right now, but either way, just to sum it up, guys, and keep this nice and succinct, that's what I've been up to. Hopefully I'll be doing some more content very soon. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm probably going to just re relap, overlap some footage right now. That's probably what I'll do. And, um, yeah, I don't know. As far as what I'm up to lately, uh, well, that, I may be doing a giveaway with a certain, 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 I may be doing a giveaway with a certain somebody very soon. We'll see if that pans through, pans out rather. And, uh, yeah. I don't know, I want to I want to do a weekly stream, whether it's me working on PC stuff, giving you guys tutorials live on the stream, or even just playing some games. So let me, let me some comments below, see what you think about that. And if you want me to get on that giveaway very soon, um, it's I really have to go into detail as to how that's going to work. You know, leave me a comment below as well. Come on, the more feedback I get, then the more enthusiastic I'll get as well. Because I like doing my videos for my own personal pleasure. It's a hobby. But I do want to see that you guys are enjoying it. Or if you're not enjoying it, leave me know. Because feedback is feedback. I would like to get some feedback nonetheless. Um, yeah, that is pretty much it. Subscribe if you like my content. Check out my other videos. I have some reviews on cases, power supplies, stuff. And really stupid stuff. I like doing stupid videos too. Anything that makes me childish, then great. I don't want to grow up anytime soon. I feel old. And that sucks. So I'm going to act stupid, so therefore, I don't feel old. Deal with it. Anyways, guys, this has been Rooster. See you all next time. Oops. <laughs>